Where's the Persona music? Oh yeah, let's play some Persona music. It just got released. Persona 2 through 5, all of the soundtracks got released. If you guys don't know, it's on Spotify. It's actually super sick. Persona 5 music is really hard to listen to for me just because I am I have so much burnout, you know what I mean? But as far as uh, Persona music goes, Persona music is like, is it's honestly top. It's top tier. Mail stream? If I made a P.O. box, do you guys think I'd actually get anything at this point? It's furry costumes? All right. Nice. I'd send you a jar of my urine. Yeah, let me just not open a P.O. box ever in my life. I'd send you a scale that you could weigh your balls with. I'm actually kind of down for that. I would take that. I want to know how I want to know how my how my boys are swimming. How heavy are my boys swimming down there? Well, I was just scrolling to Twitch and found you crazy because I started watching your YouTube yesterday. Gold Millionaire, welcome to the chat. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the gang. We're on the up and up this year, Mr. Gold Millionaire. I thought you knew. I'm going to be a big star someday. Ain't that right, chat? Hey, I'm going to be a big star someday. Tev, don't forget about us. Nah, never, never. When it comes to growth, it is really hard to read chat as we've grown larger and larger in size, especially like the past couple weeks. I I think I'm still going to try to like hang out and talk to you guys. It is hard to read the chat. Yesterday when we had like 400 people in here, I was like, damn. The last stream clip convinced me to join you laughing was too contagious. Everyone says that. Dude, everyone says my fucking laugh is contagious. Before this... Growing up, every single person used to tell me my laugh was annoying. Like growing up, everyone was like, dude, you're so your life's so fucking annoying and loud. Stuff's not even funny, I'll be laughing hysterically because of you. It's it's funny to me to know that my laugh's hysterical. But thank you. So let's talk about Carson, right? If you guys don't know about Carson, uh he's a massive YouTuber and streamer massive probably like three million he had a huge he had a huge rising over the past couple years like a meteoric rise recently it's been discovered that he was grooming uh, considered grooming a 17 year old he was sending her um pressuring her for nudes getting nudes sending sexual messages here's what i will say this conversation that we're about to have is, is is very nuanced. There's a lot of complications for it, but let's talk about the end. Let's talk about the end result and then let me explain my thinking, right? Carson is not a or a well, he is he's a groomer but not in the way of but it does not excuse him from the from the misdeed from the misdeeds he's not trying to do evil he is a person who's been put in a position of power that he's never had before and is making choices based on what happens when you can get away with things you know when you are popular when you are capable of having leeway in conversations before the conversation even starts if people know about you they're gonna have a more favorable time talking to you it's a lot easier for him to have those conversations with people and know that he can get away with a lot more because that's his audience the bigger problem isn't the the or any, any of the conflation of grooming or anything like that it's the fact that he as a grown man well not a grown man but as a 19 year old has the ability to influence things for the better he has he has a chance to influence things for the better and he just made the wrong choice i talked about this with the dream conversation when you are a large figure with millions of subs 
or you have a lot of clout on Twitter and people look up to you and respect you, it's not even about the things you do. It's about the precedent that you set. It's about setting an example more than anything. It's the same with Dream. He had to set a good example when it came to cheating and he didn't. And now it's Carson. He had to set a good example as far as dating and he didn't especially right now especially right now because that's a big thing right now a lot of the gaming community is suffering from people grooming and and all sorts of kind of stuff and uh it's important to be more careful now and set a hard line of yes and no until we can figure it out you know what i mean and that's the worst time to do this that's like that's like 10 10 people in a city dying in a car accident and then and then them bringing like a demolition derby into the town to boost everybody's spirits read the room you understand that shit is bad right now now is the exact time to 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 make a better statement chat the reason why People are getting, people are getting, um, canceled so fast. The, it is the culture in the community of fans that join these communities and these creators that influence their responses, their emotional responses. What do I mean by that? So like stands are either fully in love with their creator, like they love them, like they're obsessed with them, you know what I mean? And then once shit goes bad, it's like they can't have a conversation about it at all. They just flip shit and they go, I can't believe he'd do this. Oh my God, I can't, I just, we have to cut him off right now. I think we all have a responsibility to, to, to try and do better and try and be a, uh, more responsible and actually have the conversations you know what i mean and it's it's taboo and it sucks right you know it's a shitty conversation to have it's like motherfucker was grooming again it's like damn when will we learn it's like we won't learn until somebody talks about it and says it out loud instead of just shaming the shit we have to look and say hey why is this wrong how does this develop into something wrong and why do we need to have the conversation so early we probably talk about this shit like once a day in stream chat. Hold people accountable always. And not just in the, not just when it's, not just when it's overbearing. You know what I mean? Hold people accountable when it happens. Like when shit goes down, don't wait for it to come out when it's too big of an issue to ignore. Talk about it when it happens.